The mental side of the game, in my judgment, is, is every bit, if not more important, than the physical side of it. In baseball, you don't play against the opponent, you play against the game. And the two obstacles of the game are boredom and frustration. It's a frustrating game and it's a boring game. Boring game meaning there's a lot of time between pitches to think. You have so much pressure on you to get to the next level and, and perform and guys just fall by the wayside because they're not mentally tough. And in this game, you gotta be mentally tough. It's mental toughness. It's being able to handle adversity. It's knowing, it's knowing yourself and what you have to do to prepare yourself to get ready to perform. Sometimes your body just tells you, I can't do it today. You know, it's just, I, I feel terrible. And your mind has to say, no, 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 you have to do it. It's a long process and the bus rides can wear you down and, and getting moved up and down and seeing guys pass you by. But if we can focus on what we got control of, that's huge. Because all I got control of as a pitcher is 60 feet, six inches and pound the mat. You really want to take your mind out of it a little bit. I mean, because if that gets involved when you're going bad, it'll go bad in a hurry. Shifting from thinking about it to doing it. Thinking to trusting shutting down the thought process. So it's balancing thinking the game without letting the game get in your head, sort of. Because like Yogi Berra said, you can't think and hit at the same time. When you're going well, you know, oh, I can't wait to get the field the next day. Well, when you're going poorly, you can't let that doubt keep in your mind, oh, geez, I don't want to go to the field. I, who knows what's going to happen today. And when you're going poorly, you're thinking a lot of the uncontrollables, uh, a lot of the what ifs. So it becomes really a mental game. It's a game within the game itself, on the field as well as off. Inside. I'm Randy Reinhardt. Glad to have you aboard for a very special baseball broadcast tonight on Inside as the Rocket, Roger Clements, comes to Lexington. Ninth winning his pitcher all time, second in career strikeouts, and he is on the hill tonight. This house is ready to see the Rocket tonight. You have no idea. It was super duper quiet. You know, we were all just sitting there, and everyone's like, yeah, this guy's going to dust all those kids, you know. sitting there all nice and calm and then your kid gets up there and you're so excited it's like oh this is awesome and the batter is Johnny Drennan who today was named to the South Atlantic League Northern Division all-star team the swing and a foul tip by Drennan two strikes to Drennan left-handed hitter here is the pitch and that's a fastball in the dirt the count is one ball and two strikes pitch is high Clemens made his big league debut at the old Cleveland Municipal Stadium, May 15th, 1984. Swing and a drive, deep right field. Orch doesn't even look up, and he's out of here. Home run for Johnny Drennan. One to nothing, captains, here in the top of the first inning. As the youngster, the all-star, Johnny Drennan goes deep against the Rocket. 